please visit this channel and subscribe to our second YouTube channel. Thank you in advance for doing that. We want to solve the CSEC multiple choice paper 1 mathematics 2014 in this video. The first question is in standard form 0.0325 is written as recall that standard form means the number the, the given number which is 0 0.0325 is written in the form k times 10 exponent n such that k is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10 and n is an integer so 0 0.0325 is already less than 1 so we need to move the decimal point forward if we move once it will still be less than 1 it will not fall within this range if we move forward again it will fall within this range therefore 0 0.0325 is equal to 3.25 remember we move forward 1 2 so that is the two here and the sign means we move forward so negative in terms of standard form means forward movement on that note the correct answer is option b Now let's look at paper the question two. Let's look at the question two. Express 0 0.12 as a fraction in its lowest terms. So 0 0.12 can be rewritten as 12 over 100. So we have 1, 2. So we have 12 over 100. Now we can simplify this by looking for the common, the highest common factor of 12 and 100, which is 4. So 12 is the same as 4 times 3, and 4 times 25. So this is 25. This is 5, not 23. Then now we can cancel the common factor which is left with 3 over 25 so the correct answer is 3 over 25 540 bonds are shared in the ratio 4 is to 5 the larger share of bonds is so to find the larger share we need to look for the larger ratio which is 5 express it over the total of the ratios and multiply by 540 which is the total bonds so let's start that will give us larger share equal 5 over 4 plus 5 times 540 4 plus 5 is 9 now 9 goes into 540 60 then 5 times 60 will give us 300 so correct answer is C let's go to number 4 if 23.5 is 23 if 235 times 48.7 is equal to 
11,444.5. Then 23.5 times 0 0.487 is equal to what? So we were given, we were given this. 235 times 48.5. In order to get 23.5, we need to divide this one by 10. In order to get 0 0.487, we need to divide 48.7 by 100. So when we divide by 10 by 100, we end up dividing by 10 times 100, which is 1000. So whatever we do to the left, we must do to the right. Now our concentration comes here on the right. We know that this will simplify to 23.5 and this will also give us 0 0.487. Now for the thousand divided by thousand we need to move back one, two, three. So our result will be this. 23.5 times 0 0.487 is equal to 11.4445. Hence, the correct answer is A. Question number 5. 12.5% of a sum of money is $40. What is the sum of money? So let's see. We have the number or uh, the money, let it be x. Then 12% of x will be equal to 40 dollars. Now, 12% means 12 over 100 of means times x. So let's multiply both sides by 100. So multiply by 100 by 100. And this one to by hundred. So this will cancel this. Then we are left with twelve and half times x. Then forty times hundred. Now what do we do next? We change twelve and half into an improper fraction so 12 times 2 is 24 plus 1 25 divided by the denominator which is 2 so we have 25 over 2 x equal this which is 40 times 100 now let's multiply by the reciprocal the, the reciprocal of 25 over 2 is 2 over 25 in other words, we are flipping it over. So 2 over 25. Then we do the same on the right. 2 over 25. Now the next thing we do is to simplify this to this. Then we have something like this. So 25 can go into 104. So we are left with 40 times 4 times 2, 4 to 8. Uh, 4 times 40 is 320, then times 2. 4 times 40 is 160, times 2 will give you 320. So the correct answer is B. Question number 6. There are 40 students in a class. Girls make up 60% of the class. 25% of the girls wear glasses. How many girls in the class wear glasses? So, first let's find the number of girls in the class. We know they are 60% of 40. So, 60% of 40 will give us number of girls. 60 over 100 times 40. And that will give us 3 over 5 because 20 goes into 63, 20 goes into 105. 
that give us 3 over 5. Now 5 goes into itself 1. 5 goes here 8. Now we are left with 3 times 8. And that will give us 24. We calculate the number of girls wearing glasses. That is 25%. So 25 over 100 times 24. 25 here 1. 25 here 4. So 1 over 4 out of 24. 4 here 1. 4 here 6. 1 times 6 is 6. So the correct answer is A. Number 7. The next term in the sequence. 1, 6, 13, 22, 13 is. So to find the next term, we examine the pattern. Now let's see. These are the terms. We examine and see that to get the next term, the first term is 1. To get the next term, we add 5. So 1 plus 5 gives 6. To get the next term, we maintain that term, which is the second term, and add 7. That gives 13. So 13 plus 9. That will give you 22. So to get the next term, maintain, we add 11 to 22 to get 33. So we can see that we are adding 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and these are the odd numbers. So the next odd number is the next odd number after 11 is 13. So 33 plus 13 will give us the next term, which is 46. So we have the next term to be 46. So the correct answer is C. Question number 8. What is the value of the digit 2 in the numbers 48.625 or 21? I don't I can't tell. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, the two is not affected. I'm, I'm sure it's one. So the number is forty-eight point six two one. Now what we are interested in is the two. So this is over zero zero one. The decimal point put one there. So Take 2 out of 100. So the answer is 2 out of 100. 2 is in the 100th position or 100th place. So the correct answer is A. Now let's look at option 9. Question 9. The square root of 181 lies between. So we look for two square numbers that we can find 181 closest to them. So. We know that 169 is less than, is the closest number, the uh, closest square number to 181, that is less than 181. And the closest square number to 181 that is greater than it is 196. So let's take square roots of all the numbers. That will give us square root of 169 is less than square root of 181 is less than square root of 196. Then that will give us 13 is less than square root of 181 and is, is less than 14. So it is between 13 and 14. Number 10, 49. By the distributive law, 49 times 17 plus 49 times 3 is equal to. So let us factor a common factor which is 49 out and that will give us 49 into 17 plus 3 so that's the distributive law multiply by 17 and multiply by 3 and that is what gives us this so if you simplify 17 plus 3 you get 20 
So the correct answer is 49 times 20. Thanks for watching this video up to this point and I encourage you to subscribe to this channel for me. Thank you very much for your time.